looking vastly different as crime scene tape surrounded this parking lot yesterday. Today, very little crime scene tape remains. And to my right, this is where a massive carnival birthday party is taking place, featuring a bounce house, face painting, and lots of dancing. Earlier today, I spoke with the birthday boy's mother, who had to postpone this party until today because of yesterday's shooting. But she told us she never considered rescheduling because she wanted to prove that this community sticks together. I also spoke with the boy's aunt. She says this fun-loving community is what Pine Hills is all about. Despite of the tragedy, like the we, love each other. we love still love community. each other, love our community. We love the kids, and we just we just want to see people, you know, joy and happiness. We're not trying to see negative. We're trying to stay positive. And clearly you can see with the face painting here, everyone having a really fun time. But Adrian, regarding the investigation, deputies have not identified any suspects regarding this double homicide investigation. And less than three miles down the road at a nearby apartment complex, there was a separate shooting that left another man dead. No suspect or suspects have been identified in that shooting. We're going to continue to stay on top of both shootings, working to find out the very latest. But clearly, folks here in this community, we're going to move forward after a very tragic Saturday. Live in Pine Hills, Robert Lowe, West 2 News.